Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Crew Akon Keat here, back again with another pickups video for the month of February. Let's take a look. So, anyone that follows the channel will know that my last pickups video was for November and December, and this one is for February. So, what happened to January? Well, the simple truth is I didn't buy a single thing in January because I was broke and we were all broke, weren't we? Christmas and this kind of stuff. So it's like the, it was only in the last two weeks of February where I started to get a few games in. Um, so I don't have much, but there's a couple, a couple of interesting ones to show you. And we are going to start with the Sony PSP. What a great console. It doesn't get enough loving. And like it was, it was revolutionary when it came out, nearly 12 years ago or something. I think. The first game I got is Final Fantasy Dissidia. Hope that's not reflecting on it. Stupid light. Um, pretty cool game, I believe. I haven't played it. Um, but it's a kind of fighty game, which is interesting for Final Fantasy. Uh, again on the PSP, another cool Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 4. And the After Years, the complete collection. Uh, still sealed. So, nice collectible game. Won't open it. And lastly, on the PS, I've got Lord of Arcana, which is a kind of collector's edition as well. Um, is that sealed? No, it's not. Box is a bit rough. Well, what's in there? Bonus content, exclusive mini soundtrack CD, and a 44 page art book. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Look at the CD. That is so cute. Oh my god. Awesome. And the art of I hate new books when they do that crack sound. Anyway, so that's what I got on the PSP. Pretty happy with that. A Square Enix lot. So it was. And got some games on the PlayStation 2. Nothing amazing. And um, kind of collectible, which is, you're going to be surprised to see these. Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain. Smackdown, Shut Your Mouth. Not into wrestling games, but um, these are quite, like, they still hold their value when you look at some of the second-hand shops. And, not second-hand shops, but the likes of CEX here in Dublin. And they're still selling for about 10 quid, which for PlayStation 2 games, still a lot, I think. I got one game on the Nintendo DS. Lego Lord of the Rings. I love the Lego games. And now I have another of them. And one on the original Xbox. Cool game. Deadly Skies. I love my flight sims. Uh, yeah, Deadly Skies. Complete? Yeah. Let's see what condition the disc is in. It's a bit scuffed. I'm not happy about that. Um, one game for the Nintendo Wii. No booklet. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. That's actually a fun game. I played that when it came out originally. Then I lost my copy and I think I got that in a charity shop for a euro, which is always good. I have got two games for the PlayStation 4. Um, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection, which is Uncharted 1, 2 and 3. I've never played the Uncharted games, and when I finished The Last of Us, I was like, oh, I really enjoy that game, and I would like more of that. People are saying, play Uncharted. Okay, there's no clickers and fungus zombies. It's going to be the same kind of gameplay, so I'm looking forward to get into it eventually. But the next PlayStation 4 game, I will be starting soon. And I own so many versions of this already. I've even got this on PlayStation 4 about two or three months ago. No, I got it last summer. The Fiora version, but now I have Skyrim, the special edition, which is, it looks so much better. Uh, I played just a little bit of the virtual, the VR Skyrim to take a look at it, and it was interesting, and I'd love to have my save game in there and just like walk around some of the wilderness, but the graphics are a little bit too crappy, which is a pity. Uh, so yeah, I'm planning to play this again from the start. I've only ever clocked up about 50 hours on my PC save. don't know if you can hear that wind. It's very stormy here in Dublin today. Wow. I'm gonna blow away.
anyway. Okay, and got two on the Xbox One. Divinity, Original Sin, Enhanced Edition. Not too interested in that, but this one I'm looking forward to playing big time. I usually wait for games, excuse me, for games to come down in value, but I decided to pay the money for this one because it looks amazing. Set in medieval Europe, there's no magic. It's kind of like Skyrim type of role-playing game, but there's no magic. It's it's set in our world in medieval times. Uh, Bohemia 1403, brilliant. Looks amazing, can't wait to get stuck into that. I got some games on the PlayStation 3. The Devil May Cry HD Collection. I've only ever played the first Devil May Cry, well, had a go of it and just kind of got bored with that kind of actually hack and slash stuff, but just seeing people talking about the new one coming out and being really excited about it, I thought maybe I, I should give them another go. Far Cry, The Wild Expedition, which has Far Cry, is it one, two, three? Um, oh yeah, Far Cry Blood Dragon. I mean, I have them all, but it's just nice to get it in this little collection. The only thing is, it's only Far Cry 2 and 3 that's in there. Because Far Cry... Far, Far, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Far Cry 1 and Blood Dragon are downloads, which I imagine have been downloaded and not used before. Transformers Fall of Cybertron, which looks amazing. I've not been into the Transformers games, but I'm a big Transformers fan. Not a fan of the Michael Bay films, like everyone says, but this looks great. Really cool Cybertronian looking Transformers in it that look similar to their Generation 1 originals. Chronicles of Riddick, uh, Assault on Dark Athena. Uh, I've already got this on Xbox 360, uh, but what's cool is it comes with the first Chronicles of Riddick game, which was excellent at playing on PC. And now on to the Xbox 360 games that I got in February. February. Jeez, I hate saying that word, February. 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 Hmm. Stupid word. Uh, I just got this because it was an interesting double pack. I have both games. They're not really that interesting. They're very old, boring games. They were great games when they came out. Uh, it's just when I see little double packs like this, these are kind of hard to come by. You don't see them very often, so added to collection. Blaze Blue Continuum Shift, which is a kind of beat em up type game. A fighter. I like fighters. Actually, I don't. Like, I used to love Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. I play very little of them these days. Zone of the Enders HD Collection. Another nice, nice collectible. Comes on two discs. And it comes with a. Oh, Metal Gear Rising demo. It's mad that the three games fit on it. Xbox 360 disc. Cool. Oh, Alien Breed. Thrilogy. Where did I find that? Was that in a charity shop? I can't remember. But man, like anyone who knows me knows how much I love the Amiga. I loved the Alien Breed games, so I'm really looking forward to it. I think I own these on Steam anyway, but it's nice to have a physical, tangible piece of plastic in my hand. <coughs> Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger. Uh, so I got two Blaze Blue Fighters in February, which is cool. This was an expensive one, and um, it's from a very famous manga, Fist of the North Star. Ken's Rage. I don't know much about it, but I know I've heard a lot of people talk about it. It's based on a manga, and it's kind of hard to find out in the wild, so... Yay! Oh, they get a bit boring now. Dead Rising 2. Dante's Inferno. No, not boring. Great games. It's just, you know, you see them everywhere out in the wild. It's getting worse. Connectimals. <coughs> that was, I remember seeing that on the ads when Connect came out for the first time. I was all over the TV. Then Connect came out and was shit. And the last two games are the worst. Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. Oh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Great game. But this is all like scratched to bits on the kind of paint on the front and a little crack but I have it anyway that's the second time I got it so there you go again not the most amazing amount of pickups but I only started getting some games into the collection towards the end of February February um, so there you go hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like please subscribe and I will see you on the next video bye bye
If you like that video and if you like what I do on the channel, please leave a like and please subscribe because it helps very much. Thank you.